Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Longland in uh, Transport Fever 2. Yeah, uh, this is going to actually be the uh, final episode in the uh, Longland uh, saga. Uh, th th there's more that can be done with the map and it's still playing pretty well. I might come back to it in the future. Uh, but uh, it's uh, kind of getting uh, old. And I've just about accomplished what I wanted to do from the beginning. So uh, after 70 odd uh, episodes, I'm going to uh, give it a rest. So the plan this episode, and the episode will go as long as it takes to get this done, is we need to get the uh, rail line that uh, just came, got installed up to Lake Wobegon. And it needs to get from there, and it needs to come across into uh, Cityville. And then it needs to uh, to come into uh, Danville, uh, from which it will then uh, go on to Jericho, which will connect up with the uh, other the the existing line out of Central City. Okay, uh, and that will complete the two halves of the main line, uh, you know, for two for for each side of the map. Uh, right. Uh, now for Danville, uh, we've got this uh, existing passenger line in between that goes from Duckburg uh, through to Pork Belly, and that will that will connect those two cities in. Uh, so that means we just need to come in over here and connect in our uh, high speed station here. Now that's going to be a little bit more challenging than it uh, would seem on the surface. And I think we need to get that sorted out before we do anything else. Now, it doesn't have to come in to the same station, but I'm going to have it do that. Now, uh, to make that work, I think I'm going to need to... What am I going to need to do? Well, I, I think I want to put the, uh, the high-speed uh, intercity train uh, platform over here. Yeah? Uh, but I'm going to need to have enough um, run up to get up and over or down and under this business here. Right. Okay. So uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to configure the station, right? Now we're going to definitely need uh, tracks coming here. Uh, and that's about as uh, long as we can make that station going in, in that direction. Um, okay, so we'll uh, come back here. Um, okay. Now I'm pretty sure it won't work if... Uh, uh, if I don't uh, back up one more uh, chunk there. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this platform back to here while I'm at it. Um, okay, so if I take that out, I think that's enough that I can get down. Uh, so I'm going to need to take a couple bits of track out here, right? Uh, and then we configure that. We can go back in here. And this is the old style track. So we'll put that in. That gives us a longer platform there. And uh, I can move this back if I need to now. Uh, right. Now we're going to go in here. And we're going to put the... Uh, uh, the... Uh, fancy uh, underpasses in there. I'm not going to deal with a, with a station roof here. Uh, whoops. Uh, right. Okay. Now, if I go in here and I grab the tracks, I can just go ahead and uh, reconnect these. Um, yeah, you don't need to make that uh, electric, you idiot. Okay. Now, I think here, down is the way we need to go. So let's grab the track and see if we can uh, get down far enough. So if we come back here and we start downhill there, 
Now, how how far do we need to go to get under? Um, yeah, that doesn't quite work. Uh, that does. That does. Oh, nice. Does it still work with that? Yes. Okay, that's going to work. Okay. Well, I think we can keep it level until we get past. Um, yeah. Uh, until we get uh, past the uh, the city development to there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be harder. Um, okay. Now we need to get up to Cityville. Now, I think I'm just going to... Where's the uh, platform over at Lake Wobegon? It's on the outside. Okay. Okay, and we're on the outside here. So I could just put the... You know what? That's probably the thing I'll do. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to do that. Uh, and I imagine you're thinking, well, what are you going to do? Well, obviously, I'm going to do that. Yes, but what is that? Well, clearly, it involves erasing a great deal of track. Yeah, it, it, it definitely does. Okay. Now, if we come in here, I've got four tracks here that have to run through. Uh, no. Uh, um, okay, I'm just using that so I can uh, get the uh, station I'm going to build here to uh, line up. Uh, that's going to need one of these, which will be 320. Uh, no, and we'll put two, um, turn it around. Now, will it fit? Yes. Okay. That's perhaps not ideal, but it is what I'm going to do. Okay. Actually... Now, if we, no, 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 you got to select the station first, right, okay, now, I should have made that a, uh, uh, cargo, um, uh, station, actually, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to have the, uh, the through tracks here. Uh, ooh. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to put one more track here, which is going to be a uh, platform track. Right. Okay. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, it'll be a cargo platform uh, track. Uh, okay, no platforms, cargo, uh, because those are freight lines. I'm going to put cargo platforms. I'm not going to use them, but I'm going to put the cargo platforms here. Yep. And then I'm going to put a, a passenger platform. Uh, here, yeah, and here, and then we'll we'll stick a passenger building um, here, like this, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, and then no, we uh, go in here for cargo buildings, and we can put one of those in there, kind of like that, yeah. I do kind of like that. Okay. 
And then we come in here. And we have to do something similar on this side. Okay, now we go back to tracks and we need two more tracks here. Yeah. Right? And then we'll grab the uh, cargo platforms. Uh, I think this will let us go far enough. Um, I think. Now we need a uh, passenger platform. Let's just make sure that I can go far enough. This is going to be this. Yeah, uh, we can. Okay, good. Right. Good. Then we need to, to misc a bit of this stuff, and we'll do this, and this, and I suppose we can do this too. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, and then finish the tracks. Good. Okay. That is a uh, pretty gnarly station. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to need uh, these tracks to come in like this. I'm not going to connect the station tracks here. Now, this... Yeah. Okay. This is going to have to back up quite a distance. Okay, now, uh, can it... Oh. Okay, no, we are going to go back before the... Uh, back past the tunnel as well. Yeah, okay, now... I can just bring this out like this. Right. That's going to need that. That's a... Um, no, that... Yeah, we probably want to cut that. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Okay, so we're good there. Wrong... Tr no, it's the right track type. Yeah. Good there. Good here. And then we should be good here. Yeah, okay. So that reestablishes those um, uh, bits. And while I'm thinking about it, I will add the uh, signals back. Okay. Right. Pretty sure it works this way. Well, it didn't go, ah, you broke it, so. Uh, so at least there's that. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, so we've done we've done that. Um, good. Now. Uh, okay, I need to. Uh, oh, I need to do a thing with the uh, high speed tracks, right? Yeah, I need to do a thing with the high speed tracks. Um, I need them to come over and snap along here. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, you're going to need to angle that a bit differently. 
Yeah, it does seem like I, I need to do that, doesn't it? Uh, okay. That actually seems uh, reasonable. Okay. Right. Where's the end of it? There it is. Okay. Oh dear, we're doing this, are we? Okay. Right. And on we go. Oh, I need to uh, electrify this. I'll have to come back and do that on uh, those bits. Uh, I just want to... Okay, no. Uh, just go ahead and do it. Okay, do that one, and that one, yeah, okay, good, right, well, so far so good. Now, over here, I need to, well, we can close that, uh, go back to tracks, right, need to come around. Uh, into here. Uh, yeah, I'll take that speed. Uh, right. Okay, so we come around into there. Yeah. Okay. Now, theoretically, I should be able to get this to marry up. Yeah. And it does it at a decent speed, so I'll do that. Okay, and then we need to come all the way in and past here and then up into here. Okay, well that shouldn't be too bad. We just need to uh, run along parallel here. Oh, come on. Um, snap. Yeah. Well, it works better when it does snap. Okay. So we've got six tracks coming along here now, but that's fine. Uh, that's, uh, that's perfectly uh, acceptable to uh, allow everything to work. Okay. Right. Now, we're just about to the point where it connects up. Yeah, this part's the terribly exciting part, isn't it? Uh, oh, come on. Right. There we go. Now, we come along here. We've got a long... Okay. We'll peel off just before that corner there, I think. Yeah, just, uh, just here we'll peel off. Okay. So, we come up like this. Yeah. And then, oh, I guess up to about there, I think. Then we can come across this way. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, we need to come around past the, uh, the quarry there. Now we need to get out of here. Oh, that's going to be slightly challenging. But if I just take this bit of road out, yeah it will be less challenging. Right, okay, so we come out like this. Uh, up to here. Um, that gives... That gives an acceptable swan neck. Um, okay, well, we'll go with the acceptable swan neck then. So what do you do about the road? Well, you build it again. Oh, you build it again. Yeah, you build it again. You do this. And then you do this. Yeah. And then you do this. Okay, so you've built a road. Good, fine. 
Okay, that gives us a track all the way up into here. And we're up to, we're up to Danville. Okay. Now from Danville, we're going to Jericho, right? And that's almost a crow fly one, but we need to get out of Jericho. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to come out on top of everything and then drop down to ground level and go under that. Okay. So we're going to have to get all this stuff out of the way. Why am I deleting the houses? Well, if I don't, then we we'll end up with uh, issues with uh, bridge supports. Uh, so that's the entire reason why I'm doing that. Okay, now we come out of here. Um, and we're come. Oh, we're coming down, so that's good. What kind of bridge do we want? That one. Okay. Yeah, we're coming down. That is acceptable. Why did it... Okay. Uh, right. Now, we need to bring the... No. Bring this one down. Okay. Now... We can run it around like this. Yeah. Well, that turns out to be less uh, complicated than it could have been. Um, I need to come around a little bit um, sharper there, I think. Yeah. Probably also need to go down. Oh, no. I can go up and over here. Yeah. I should be able to go up and over there. Can I? Not at that level, I can't. Can I do it here? No. Nope. At this... Nope. At that level, I can. Okay. right okay so if we change that to the that one and change that to um change this to uh that one uh no this one should be the one with the pillars yeah okay uh so then we come up come across this way and like this that gets us across okay this needs to be sharper um right so you need to come around kind of like this and then kind of like this yeah that'll do right that needs to do a thing yep Okay, and then this comes around like that. Okay, so that gets us across that. Now we need to get into Danville, or out of Danville, actually. Now, how do we get out of Danville? Do we go up or down? Up, I think. Okay, so if we come out like this. Come on. There we go. Uh, if we do that, then we can get up to, we can get up to, uh, bridge height, uh, there. Yeah. Good. Now we're over. Yep. Okay. That gets over the last remaining obstacle track. Right. That's not ideal, but now we can... Oh, we've got another obstacle track, don't we? No, we don't. Okay. Now, can we crow fly it? Uh, what will happen if we try to just connect it directly?
Okay, so what do we get? A uh, whopping huge viaduct. Okay, that is clearly not the way we're going to do it. Okay, now here I need to uh, go down. Uh, where is it? We need to go down like that. And then we need to come across. Eh, yeah, a little bit of a tunnel there is probably fine. And then we need to come across here without making a whopping huge uh, viaduct there. And then we need to come probably about on that angle, I think. And then we can pop through here. Yeah. And then we can pop up onto here. Well, that's a pretty slow corner. Yeah. Probably want to back up to about here. Okay. Right. We can grab it and pop up. Well, that's a little better. Okay. Uh, right. And we're going to make that. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna viaduct that. Yeah, we're going to viaduct it. Okay. Well, you know sometimes the uh, viaduct is the solution. Uh, right. And we just uh, need to run this across here, and then it'll be a matter of uh, running the. Uh, or uh, updating the train line, deleting the old one. Dope, on the wrong side. Okay, well, let's try that again. Come at it like this. Do this. Yep. And this. Well, that will complete our track laying adventure. Now, I just need to put some signals on here. And we need to go all the way back to Lake Wobegon with that. Um, okay, so we'll need uh, signals here. All right. Auto save. Yep, yeah, okay. right and then here um here yeah at the tunnel sure uh after the tunnel sure uh at the platform yeah probably uh okay uh, here. Right. Okay, I'll put a couple more in here. Yep. And then we'll need, uh, here. Uh, and then along this stretch. Okay. Right. Need another one here and at the platform. Okay. Yep, that should be fine. And now, uh, right. Now what do we do? Well, uh, what we do is we go into here. Um, no, we go into here. Uh, and we take off the P PT mainline uh, line. 
okay so if we manage vehicles uh, we can sell those yep and then we can uh, it'll be the PT main line yeah okay right oh manage line PT main line yeah we go to city central city okay uh, we delete it then we go back to Lake Wobegon right there's Lake Wobegon. We go in here. Um, okay, so we managed that line. And from Lake Wobegon, uh, we add a station for uh, Cityville, Danville, uh, Jericho, uh, Metropolis, yeah, and then C Central City, and then back to Metropolis, yeah, and then to uh, Jericho, yeah, and then up to Danville, yeah, yeah. And then up to Cityville. And then up to, back to Lake Wobegon. Now, um, we can't connect all stations. Okay, so we get stopped going from Lake Wobegon to Cityville transfer. Why? Um, no. Okay. Lake Wobegon. Right. One. Okay. Then Danville. Uh, okay, we get to Cityville. Now we need to go look at Cityville to Danville. Um, okay, Danville is going for... Uh, Danville. Uh, we need track four. No, we need track three. What? What? Okay, now we need, okay, so we got Cityville to, this is going to have to be one, right? And this is one, no, that should be four, right? Yeah. That should be two. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. Now, Cityville, is that, should that be one? No. Two. And then Danville should be three. What? Danville. Yeah, it should be three. And then Jericho, should that be one? Yeah, it should. And then this should be one. Yeah. 
Okay, so why can't I get from Cityville transfer to Danville? Um, okay. Well, um, no. Uh, well, that would do it. Okay. Uh, it needs to actually connect. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, right. Connect it. Bam. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So, that was the speed, track speeds layer. Uh, and it makes it easy to see the underground tracks, right? Uh, okay. Now, we go in here. And uh, this is um, right. We're going to rename that PT Mega City Mainline. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to manage the vehicles and we're going to put uh, twice as many on here. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's go over to Lake Wobegon. Uh, do we have... Now, find our nearest train that's coming on the main line. Yeah. And we're just going to jump on board and uh, give it a ride. So, this has definitely uh, got us uh, where, where uh, I wanted to get with this series. Uh, we've got all the freight connected up in some manner. It's not all perfectly efficient. And I may come back and do a bunch of off-camera renovations and stuff to the map at some point. But uh, we've got a whole boatload of old steam trains running there. Uh, and we've got uh, electric trains uh, running passengers around. Okay, so uh, on into Lake Wobegon here. We come in to the uh, station, and now we are going to be on our uh, new leg. Uh, so this is definitely going to be the last installment of the Longland map, at least for for a while now. Uh, I may come back with a season two and do like a pass two or something like that, but uh, I'm thinking maybe not. Uh, but what I will will do, I will share the save uh, on Steam, and I'll I'll try and remember to put a link in the doobly doo, and uh, then you can uh, you can come in and uh, um, you know make a mess of this uh, however you like, uh, you share it uh, back with me if you if you like, and I'll I'll see maybe I'll do a a, a show and tell for you. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it depends if I can load the game or not. Uh, if you use too many mods, that may be an issue. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll share the, uh, the save, and I'll try and dig up the original map and share that too. And then, uh, then you can uh, go ahead and uh, you know mess with it if you want. Um, I mean, <laughs> why not? Now I'm going to up the tempo to mid-tempo here, and we'll just uh, run through here, and we can just see the last track that's being built in this series. So anyway, uh, my thought is, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start up a new Ostrov map, and that'll take up one of Transport Fever's uh, slots uh, weekly. This week, that will be uh, Thursday. Uh, and I think I will shift to uh, three a week for Soviet Republic for a little bit. And uh, so that'll give, mean the lineup is, if you haven't watched the other stuff, the lineup will be uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, will be Soviet Republic. Uh, and uh, Tuesday will be surviving Mars and Thursday probably I think will be uh, will be Ostrov. 
uh, until I come up with another game that I want to throw in the mix. And I'm waiting for patches on a couple of them, uh, updates on a couple of them. Okay, we've come into Cityville. That worked out okay. Um, so that's the general idea. Uh, there's an update coming uh, at some point uh, for uh, Transport Fever 2. And depending what that brings, I may start up a new map with that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll probably leave it for a little bit and then come back to it. Uh, as I want to get um, get the progress uh, really uh, dialed in on Soviet Republic and get Ostrov going. Okay, so we're heading into Danville here. Um, yep, yeah, this is the tunnel in. Uh, Yeah, we got some building foundations uh, popping through from above, but that can't be helped. Uh, right. Okay. And good. We collect a few passengers here and up and over. See, this is a nice thing with the uh, more modern uh, trains with some actual grunt to them. You can send them up a hill like that and they're not going to die, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll ride this all the way on into Central City, and then we can, uh, then I'll, uh, I'll uh, put things away. We're heading for Jericho now. Uh, this, uh, because I just wanted to get this done without faffing about for like three hours, we got this little roller coaster effect here. And it dug into the ground like that. I could have, I could do something about that. I could relay the track or whatever, but I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, that's the sort of thing where it'd be nice to have a track blueprint layer where you could uh, plop a tra uh, the start and end points and then go and uh, uh, you know adjust it uh, with like spline points and. Uh, Bezier curves and uh, uh, you know adjust the elevation and all of that stuff along the way, um, but yeah, it's uh, relatively um, a minor inconvenience, really. Uh, okay, here we are coming into Jericho. We come under the freight line, then we come up over the city streets. And on into the station where there is 11,000 people waiting. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I said 11. Get over it. Right. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to need to put like another half dozen trains on this, this line now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're, now we're, we're uh, on into the old stuff from uh, a couple months ago. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, we've uh, basically shifted down to a long tunnel here. It is a long tunnel. Forgot quite how long it is. Should be coming up on it real soon now. Ah, here we go. Right, now we're onto the old track again. Uh, right, yeah, I'm going to need to put a few more. Uh, right, I still have an uh, underground station here. Uh, I'm going to need to put a few more trains on this. Yeah. Well, now that the tracks are in, there's lots of headway on the tracks. So we can put as many trains as I as we need on here so uh, after uh, we get to city central uh, central city uh, we'll I'll uh, add the uh, the uh, add some extra trains and then uh, then we should be good yeah we should pop up out of the ground here yeah good everything is uh, is good here 
Okay, well, we'll jump out of here and uh, take a look in here on the terminals. Uh, lines. Oh, yeah, everything's good. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so it's going to be the Mega City Mainline, Manage Vehicles, put another half dozen on there, and we're good. Right. Well, uh, that's not too bad. I thought this might actually break an hour to, uh, to get that last bit of uh, passenger uh, electrics in. But no, I think it's everything's good. Uh, there's a lot can be done uh, by winding the, uh, the clock forward by about 25 or 30 years uh, to the point where some decent uh, high capacity trucks are available, you know, semi trucks and uh, redoing a whole bunch of this stuff to use uh, trucks and central pickup stations and that sort of thing. Uh, and I think that would have a lot of opportunity to look really nice. Um, we're up to the point where we've got boatloads. We're going to have boatloads of uh, private cars uh, and that uh, and transit and uh, population is going to start making uh, everything problematic in the cities. Uh, let's just uh, take a look here. We've got Raccoon City here on the edge of the map. Looks like, yeah, looks like this setup uh, worked out pretty good. You know, like if I were to just... Um, uh, do this yeah it's hanging off the edge of the map ever so slightly but it's lined up with the edge of the map over here so yeah yeah that's um, that's uh, developing nicely and if we just look here these uh, areas are doing nicely um, but if you let this run until about uh 2050 or so i'm willing to bet with the private cars these areas will grow together now that everything is basically connected with rail uh, passengers anyway that's gonna be all i guess uh for longland uh for a while at least and yeah i'll i'll uh, make sure to uh, share the save and the map and uh and then we'll uh i'll Try and remember to put the links in the uh, doobly-doo. And yeah, uh, I would uh, I would say uh, I'd be interested to see what uh, what any any of you actually manage to do uh, with uh, with the map. Um, you know, renovations, uh, detailing, uh, uh, doing a roast of it, whatever you want to do, go ahead. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all. So, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, that business still applies. Uh, you know, I'm still going to be putting out videos. And, of course, you can dislike if you prefer. That's still a thing. And, you know, now here's the uh, astounding part. If you turn on the bell thing, uh, you can possibly get some notifications of new videos. You might find that useful, or maybe not. Entirely up to you. Anyway, uh, see you back for something else next time.